Okay, so this. Okay, so how I usually study for anatomy, I start by looking at all of my structures in the Netters Atlas. So this is the Netters Atlas. And uh, this section is um, the head and neck. So I have my structure list, which is basically a paper that just lists all of the um, structures that we'll be responsible for. If your school doesn't have a structure list, um, I'm sure that with each lab, they whatever they teach you in lab, you can just keep a note of um, all the structures that you learned in lab or you can kind of trace it based on your PowerPoints, but um, most schools will have a structure list that you're supposed to follow. So I'm going to do some color coding and I'll show you what that's for in a second. So letters. There you go. Okay. So the reason why I color code is because I'm going to go through three different sets of sources to study for the practical. So first I'm going to go through my Netters Atlas, which is this book here. And then I'm going to watch um, lab videos that are provided online or I, you can also look on YouTube for lab videos and those are actual cadaver videos that show dissections of the things that, that you're supposed to know in lab. And and um, then when I go into lab, I bring my structure list, which is this structure list, and I just go through the structures and I see the things that I do know, things that I don't know. And some of them, like I can look at them in lab and if I can like picture them, how they look in lab, I'll just check them off. So for instance, I'm looking at the skull and netters, and we see the frontal bone, nasal bone, lacrimal bone. Right there, I'm going to check those bones off with my black ink. And I just continue doing that for all of the structures that I need to see in netters. So I like to see them in netters first, and then I watch a video. And then after that, I go to lab. Okay, so looking at the muscles. And then going back to my structure list. Now that I've seen them, I'm going to uh, check them off. Okay. okay, so this is a video from YouTube. And... Um, they're showing the muscles in the neck so I would watch that and as I'm watching it since I've seen it I just check that off on my structure list yes yeah, so I go to my structure list and I just check things off that I viewed and I check it off in blue so that I know that I've seen it via video so that's my second time going over the material and my last time going over the material is going to be um, actually in the anatomy lab of which I can't show you um, but once I go in there I bring my structure list um, I usually don't take my pen out unless um, I'm not going to be dissecting or if I have a friend um, helping me with my dissections um, so that I don't contaminate my hands um, with the cadaver and contaminate my pen so I go into the anatomy lab and I just like look through my structure list and I see um, which structures can I visualize, which ones um, can't I visualize, and I, if I can't visualize it, I find it in the cadaver and I make a mental note at the end of lab. And after that, um, I'm pretty prepared for the practical. Okay, so on the day of the exam, I usually use these Netters flashcards. And I also use these Rowan's flashcards. So the Netters has um, the same pictures that you would find in the Atlas, um, but obviously it's very handy and you can just like go through the, the structures that you kind of still need to drill into your head. And then the Rowans has the real life pictures. They're like plastinated models of um, cadavers. And I'll show you guys. This is an example of the Netters flashcards and let me show you some other ones. Another one and then flip it over. And the number just corresponds with the numbers in the flashcard. Same here for our thyroids. And then 
the Rowan splash cards has actual um, plastinated models. So once again, it's numbered and then on the back it'll correspond to that number and tell you what structure that is. So they're really, really good because on the day of the exam, you can use this to drill in that last minute material. And um, yeah, just get everything that you need in. Okay. And yeah, that's really it. Um, that's my um, handy dandy tricks I tend to do really well my practicals I probably got like three wrong at most so this has worked for me I hope it works for you and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so I'll see you guys later